Welcome everyone. So for today's video, let's say that I wanted to know the exchange rate between $1 to Philippine Peso. So in this video, this will be involving two applications in NoCode API. So we're going to use the currency exchange application and Telegram. So what we need to do first is log in your account in nocodeapi.com. Then once we're logged in, let's go to the marketplace and let's look for currency exchange. So click this button right here. So first you need to create your endpoint. So I already created mine. It's just easy. Just provide a name and then create one and you can get your endpoint. So to test this one out, click this button right here and we can see the list of endpoints. We have get rates, convert currency into other currency and countries symbol. So first, let's test this one out. Uh, click and test the API button and you can actually see the conversion rates from different countries. Okay. So uh, this is the currency exchange. What we need to do now is we have to go to another website called Integromat. Okay. So this Integromat, just log into your to your Integromat account and you can go to the dashboard, click this create new scenario. And then click this big plus sign. Okay, and now let's look for HTTP. Now click this one right here and then look for the make a request. Okay, so checking right here, this is the form that we're gonna have to fill up. We need to paste the URL from the no code API. So go back to your dashboard and copy this one. And then paste it right here in the URL. Now, so checking the URL right here, we need to add an a slash convert, okay, so that it'll work. Now, for the method, uh, choose get. For the query string, we need to add parameters. Let's say, uh huh, let's add the amount of one dollar for the value. Let's add another parameter, and that I wanted to convert the US dollar, okay, from one USD dollar to, let's add another parameter to Philippine Peso for the value that's PHP, okay? So in total, we have three parameters right here. Now, click this OK button and click this Run Once button to see if, it wor if it's working. Okay, so now we're going to have to move to the second part. Let's add another module and again, choose the HTTP and also make a request. Okay, so for this one, we're going to have to paste the URL for the Telegram in No Code API. So we need to go back to our dashboard, mm -hmm. go to Marketplace, look for Telegram and then click this to use this API. So for this one, uh, again, you need to create the endpoint right here. So if you haven't got one, just uh, look for the video below on how to create the Telegram bot API. Then once you've done it, you can go back to this video and then click this use this API button to check on the list of endpoints. Okay, so just like in the old video, uh, if I type in text right here and click test API, it will actually send to my bot in Telegram, which is this is the message that I sent. Okay, so going back to your dashboard, this will be your URL link. So copy this one, go back to your integral mat, and then paste it right here in the URL. Okay, so checking here on the URL, just delete this send slash send text and you're good to go. Now on the method, let's choose post. Okay, for the query string, let's check. 
Okay, so for the query string, let's type in bind keys for the name. And for the value, let's type in text. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so for the body type, let's choose raw. For the content type, let's choose JSON. And for the request content, let's choose data. Okay, so now that everything's filled up, click the OK button and let's check if it's working. Just click this button, run once. And I have received the message and it shows right here that one US dollar is equals to 56.7665 pesos, Philippine peso. Okay, so yeah, that's how you connect your currency and your telegram both at the same time to get messages on how the exchange rates is going on. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.